How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Sazasco. This is Cowboy Nation. Let's get to it. So, turns out I'm a fool and I've had this door shut. I imagine it just got built last episode with a big recruitment drive of construction, so that's not too bad. Can we make sure that we are keeping everything else inside? Yep. I wonder if the cougars will run down to the mech cluster. I don't mind if they don't or do. Oh, we have got some boomalopes, which we can hunt, so that's really good. Because, yeah, they've only got 10% chance of fighting bats, so that's not too bad. Now, I know some of you wish we would have got more food in the trade. Some of you sort of agreed with me, some of you didn't, which is, which is fine, party people. I feel like we made the right decision, though. Glad you guys are enjoying my, you know, not killing the animals. We're making some drugs. It's Cowboy Nation, yo. Is that how cowboys talk? Yo. Yippee, yippee, yo. No, they're not diving down on these. Never mind. It's not a big deal. The problem is, is when they leave the map, they'll walk through. And I'd rather they dive on them all together. With having such a big base, it's quite good when we do hide from manhunters. Because what's the point of fighting them? Most of their meat is going to go rotten. And we do have some people bored. Hmm. Interesting. Seedlings. Arctic. And Zizamayamai. Don't know why I talked like that. I mean, there's not really anything to do. Could think about where we're going to put our battery room. Could start building like walls around our ritual room, which I suppose... What walls have we got? We ain't got any sexy marble. We've only got two, so... Like, if I remember rightly, like sandstone and whatnot don't give any beauty modifiers, does it? Okay, we'll build it round with limestone. This can be our proper ritual room, then. Just make sure it's not in the way of any trees. Right, if everyone's bored, I might as well put them to work. And this can be like a grand hall. I don't know why I tried to do that. I was like, oh, let's try and build it a bit fancy dancy, but... Then it didn't really work out, did it? I could go look at watch this. This is gonna be amazing. Oh, look at that. What a room. What a room. I know what you're thinking. I'm not an architect party, people. I'm not, I'm not. For some reason, just never got there. Yeah, that's gonna be our next thing. Then we'll bring a power conduit. To be fair, this at some point there's a power conduit is gonna to have to come. All this way anyway to power whatever we might put in here. We might put nothing in that. Then we get a little power conduit. And then we can get... We might need a lamp right here, sadly. I say sadly because it will ruin the aesthetics of the room. And then we... Yeah, that's going to look banging. Happy with that. And it protects it a little bit if anyone comes in as well. Cow has given birth. I mean, we're starting to produce the cows now. It's not a euphemism. We're just... They're breeding. They're breeding like rabbits, but they're cows. Hmm. If we could, What did we need for another drug bench? Remind me. So what I'm going to do then, is for the time being at least, reinstall this in here. And then we're going to build a copy of that space already occupied. Whoops. If this is going to be our main money maker, we should be making sure we're putting a lot more effort into it than what we're doing. But also frees up room for... I don't know. For this room to not look as hideous, I suppose. 
I mean, should we just deconstruct these research benches? I mean... Like we will be doing research down the line. Hmm, I don't know, we'll leave it for the time being. Are these... Okay, so some of them did run into our friends. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there a shield? Cool. Are we done? No, there's two manhunters left. Wait for them to go. We've got to, like, got to get their shield core because then we can build um shield packs. And shield packs are amazing. Floor. I feel like we're going to have to put some grand floor. Animalistic. We have not got the wood for that. Which is so disappointing. We will get it. I don't know how, but we will get it. Do you know what, pie people? My genius, this colony is just so, like... I love this colony. This is the favourite like, RimWorld-style thing I've ever done. It's, it's just... Good. Well, it helps that it's going so well, let's be honest. <laughs> if all my series were as smooth as this, I'd love it. I feel like the design of the base has helped a little bit. I know it's gone a bit wacky and wild of late. But that's okay. That's the fun of it. Um, yeah, we've still got them cougars, sadly. I mean, it's not going to... No, it's still 100 out of 100. Cool, cool, cool. Then we can hunt the boomalopes. Let me just make sure they are in the zone before I get too excited. Yeah. Cool. Food is running low, but I think we can tank it as the cougars seem to be moving. Or well, they've all moved out apart from two, so it's not too bad. And then we can just rock down to the boomalope avenue. I suppose the battery room could probably go here down the line because this is all going to be re uh, moved and reshuffled. Well, that seems quite vulnerable. It'd probably be better moving these mortars. Reinstall there. And there. Then adding a wooden door. Like here, just so then we can get in there quicker. And then putting the battery room up there. That'd probably make much more sense. Because then we'll have... Oh, Frigo. I, I forgot about you, Frigo. And Rue. I mean, I was Rue with us long? I can't remember. Let's close this area off. Because... I imagine we might be filling it up more in the future. Maybe, maybe. We'll put a little lamp in there, why not? But the real meat and the potatoes. So we'll build a little limestone. Not that it'll matter too much. Could open this up. Unless, um, I was going to say, unless I put them there, but then it's a bit vulnerable if people attack like that way. I could just, to be fair, if it's going to be there, it can just be sandstone. Then we could just have a little battery room there. It's not going to be anything too crazy, at least for the time being. And then run a power conduit. Like that. So then we have a nice little loop. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Wait, 
We're moving, party people. We're moving and we're grooving. Gut worms. Who got gut worms? Teddy. Is Teddy okay? High psychic drone for males. How are we doing on the... All the cougars are gone. So we can party on down. In Tazastical Town. Hopefully people aren't bored now. And there's a party! We don't care about a high psychic drone because we're living the high life. We're literally not, but we're the party's been called off. <laughs> Embarrass me in front of my fans, why don't you? I would this will come up in all of your review meetings. Disgusting colonists. Just can't get the right colonists for the tasks nowadays, party people. I try for you, the viewers at home, the party people at home. And they just, these colonists, they take, take, take. They're greedy beadies is what they are. It's fine. They will get their comeuppance. I mean, they have to live in our colonists, so, colony, so. Sort of their own fault. Yeah, let's deconstruct these research benches because they're basically done now. Okay, the battery room is up. I don't know if it's roofed. However, I would like to double wall that with limestone just in case it gets attacked. Gives us a little bit of added protection. And do you know what? I'd rather be safe than sorry. So let's build copy battery build co no no build copy sorry 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 reinstall then guess what reinstall then how much is this doggy in the window 70 steel so we don't have enough steel with it but we can queue two more up eventually we'll obviously expand our batteries more than that We'll bring our wall down, but for now, that will do. Got lots of things. Just need some wood to get the drug bench up, so we will actually set some orders to cut some trees. Just the ones that are immediately close. Or fairly close. It should be enough. Uh, food is an issue, so let's hunt all the boomalopes. Lovely. Let's get back on harvesting the berry bushes. Nice. That's a good plan, if I do say so myself. Did some of them run off? Psychic so drone is ending, that's positive. I mean, apart from the food situation, which will resolve itself when we get enough cows. Like it just will. Just hard. They're just killing everything now. Thing is, even like the episode ago when we had a chance to get loads of food in, like it would have helped to a degree. Right, let's copy this over to the other drug bench. There we go. So we can have two drug benches on the go. All of that's gone down. So I can just reshuffle this room just ever so slightly. Yeah, because I think what we're, what we're going to have to do in here is going to have to change it around even more than what we've done is because eventually we'll want the biorefinery in here.
Yeah, so we'll move stuff away so then we can get room for the biorefinery. I think that's a good idea. Don't know the best way to rearrange this room. Whoops. Leave it for now, I guess. But yeah, then the biorefinery. It's a shame you can't reinstall that because that's... It's in a very frustrating spot, I'm not going to lie. Actually, I can have a look. Production. Yeah, because it's, it's, to be fair, it's not actually that big. But it would be handy if I could put it on this wall, It'd just make life a little bit easier. I could just get rid of that door. No real reason for it to be there, I suppose. Moves to sky high. All right, so I'll put the art bench on that wall. Do you go move over there, please? Thank you. Then what else needs to be here? It's probably about it. So then will that work? So get one there. God, this move, the room is such a mess, it stresses me out just looking at it. I'm under pressure. Oh, whoops. Muscle parasites, Christoph. Well, sickly is sickly, isn't it? Royal Tribute Collector. Where are they coming in? Over there. That could have been interesting. I'm in no rush to get rid of it, but if someone wants to get rid of it for us, I'm not going to complain. Okay, food is... Now officially in panic mode. Yeah, I'm now engaging panic mode. To be fair, perhaps we should have been in panic mode a little while before, but you know me, party people. Something will happen. Something good will happen to save the day. And if it doesn't, welcome to my cannibal play. <laughs> Zombie cowboys. We eat, we eat, we eat, we eat. We'll eat. We'll eat. What is that? An elephant. Okay. Queue up hunting that ostrich. Yes, it will fight back. I'm fully aware. Not much we can do about that, though, I'm afraid. Arctic just needs to get some good shots. Good shot. Nice. Arctic is the man. What a man, what a man, what a mighty fine man. That's why I don't want to hunt the emus yet, in all honesty. Trade caravan for the Empire is leaving. 
I want to see where they were leaving they left up here. Well, if push comes to shove, we'll have to eat our camels. Like you people said, there's no point killing our cows because then that creates an issue of like the cows are meant to get us out of this problem. But we just need to get them to the right age. To be fair, a few are. Well, there's a camel baby. I have to just call them camels and whatnot, because that is what they are. I'm not having it. I'm not having it, game. You can call them baboon squirrels for all I care. They look like a camel. They smell like a camel. They are a camel. And if you don't think so, then I'll have the hump with you as well. Okay, so what I want to do is open this door and open that door. I know you're repairing, but then hopefully that stops, like, breaches coming to us, although that seems a bit optimistic saying that out loud. Let's hunt an emu. Fire? Fire! Fire! Uh, let's just sort out our home zones. So don't want to be running across the map, putting out fires in all honesty. It's a fun pastime, but it's not really for me anymore. There we go. Teddy, go to bed, you're drunk. Okay, now it's pretty much make more drugs, so then next time we can trade, then hopefully we can make even more money, buy even more things. That would be the ideal. We need to make sure we get that. Did we get the shield thing that was over here? I imagine so, because it's gone. If that's deteriorated, I will literally... No, 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 because we got three in here. Perfect, perfect, as I smack my microphone. Professional as ever. Yeah, you milk that cow, Regina. You milk it good. Arctic, are you the one hunting? Yes, you are. Perfect. I like it when you hunt. I'd like it even more if you shot it. Brilliant job. Outstanding. Now let's just make sure we keep harvesting berry bushes because we're going to be in a bit of trouble in a minute. Nine meals left. So yeah, now this is mass harvest bushes. If there's a bush need harvesting near you, we'll be there. <laughs> oh. Brought the mood down, that one, didn't it? Yeah. Brought the mood down. Okay, we have got... And the berry bushes are keeping us going. At well, the minute the cows start producing, then hopefully that can really... Problem is we're just we're starting from a deficit, which doesn't help us. Yeah, a lot of berry bushes coming in now, so that's good. Christoph and Regina are bored. Not on board of your attitude. Christoph, what is the matter with you? Muscle parasites. So you are a parasite. On this colony. Regina, my darling. If you're that bored. I don't know. If you're that bored, I don't know. If you're that bored, just give up. Wildlife. Oh, we got a rat. Quickly go kill the rat. So that is where we're at. <laughs> oh, it's funny until you realise we're eating rats to survive. Some things in my series has never changed, buddy people. And you love me for it. I get better in one aspect and I'm the same in the others. <laughs> oh, I see. I see why you guys sometimes get frustrated. <laughs> 
What, what's that? Tells us to call episode 1000 and we're still struggling for food and eating rats. Maybe you should sort that out. Maybe you should sort your face out. Oh, oh. I've done ya. I've done ya. You didn't see that coming. The thing is, I'm not panicking because actually it is under control. Suppose it's under control. Everything else is going swimmingly. Tattered apparel, Jenkins. What's the matter? Uh, the flak pants should definitely be like above 55, right? Apparently they are. And same with the vests. All above 55, please. Yeah, that's just kick them into gear. So then we're not having tainted stuff. If we had more steel, we'd start building like tall... What are they called? Uh, the tall cabinets are just for a little bit of added production, but as of now, it's no worries. I mean, we're just waiting for the next big drug harvest and we're going to be laughing. 82%. Get some Devil Strand in a bit. Gonna have to expand this stockpile. It's not really doing the business. Chunks of spacecraft. Oh, I was hoping for a bit more than just one, in all honesty. Because they can get you a little bit of steel. I didn't even... She robbed that so quickly. 20 steel. Oh, not worth it. Don't even bother. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Apparently, beggars can be choosers. Make some money. Make some coinage. Next drug harvest will be good. Make some more drugs. Then just wait for a trade. To be fair, if everyone is bored, why don't I start strip mining? So let's do it with this one fast. Boop. Right, there we go. So let's start that. Start with the one closest at home because I feel like that makes the most sense. So just go in there, out there. Then if we get lucky and find some steel, cool. If not, at least we know. Right, are we mining? No. So these people that are bored, Arctic, where well, you're bored because you can't do anything else. I'll put your fort in... Oh, there we go. So the miners are going now. So hopefully if we find any steel, we will find it. It's normally how it works. It's really simple, like strip mining we're going to do to start with. And then just see what appears. Ask and you will receive. Down, down, down. Ask and you will receive. Down, down, down. Because Tazastical is the best. Down, down, down. We starve better than all the rest. Down, down, down. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Cassandra tries to keep us down and she can't. She trying to she's the man. The man's trying to keep us down. I feel like we're that close to starting a punk band. Where Christoph just is that, that person that just always lets you down. Do you know what I mean? 
always says they're going to be there for rehearse or never bothers, always says they're ill. I can picture it now. Look at me now. Oh, that was the longest flash storm in the history of flash storms. I hope we can recover from that. Emu Revenge. Ah, bad on. Yeah, needed a hit there, champ. Hi, Teddy. Why have you not got a weapon? You absolute tool. Well, I'll be honest, you're not much use to me without a weapon, so let's hold shift. And then queue up that. Seedling should be okay. Not got the best speed on the emu. He's going to die in five hours, but still giving seedlings the runaround. Come on, good shot, seedlings. I'll accept it. Okay. And we'll let the other strip mining being done. I feel like we've started it, so we might as well let it finish. I said very, very basic. Just, just to, like, just to tease the steel out. You don't want to make the, the, the steel scared. You just want to tease it out. Like when you're on a date with someone, you just just little tease. You want to see how how it how it teases you back. Like what am I talking about? I'm a broken Rimworld player. That just wants my drugs. Ninety percent grown is pretty banging though. Let's be honest. And don't get me wrong, this won't sort out our still problem. But it sort of just pauses it from it just keeps us afloat. We've got a few things that we do need to build just to make sure the colony is the best it can be. And then the next time an exotic's good trader or a bulk's good, I can't remember which one, I think a bulk's good. We sell our drugs and we're we're rocking it once again. Because we'll have even more this time than we had last time. You know, food is a slight problem. There are rumours. That we're eating rats. But it's just rumours. Alright, let's tell everyone to stay inside. For the first time ever. It's not a breach and there's no sappers. A hundred episodes in. Watch them still go for the walls. I would actually laugh. Uh, we could mortar them. How many people are there? 37. It's a lot. I feel like we could deal with them, but we've got excess mortar shells. So I feel like there's no reason not to say hello to them. Uh, incendiary, just because I find them more fun and I'm a bit toxic. Teddy, what's your shooting free? Go away. Seedlings. Man, that one, that's already got an incendiary shell. Good hit? No, not great. Let's have some fun. Very often we get a chance to, you know, keep mortaring the game. So let's give them a bit of medicine. Or give them their own medicine, I should say. Probably should have just used the high explosive rounds, but... We can burn them alive. And that makes for good viewing. Also, the damage spreads out amongst them. Ah, look at them. Look at them burn. Cassandra. Remember when you tried to send a siege at me, Cassandra? This is what you get. This is called payback. It's not nice when people are mortared and, 
you know, attacked. If we could fire some more, yeah. Get out of it. Scoundrels. Absolute scoundrels. Don't deserve anything. All right. All right, this, we will have to deal with this. Whoops, I'm still. This will mark the end of this kill box. We don't need to waste any more steel on it. I think we can all agree that. So this will be it done. After this, we will come up with, you know, whatever the new version of it is going to be because we're struggling with steel as it is. And then we've got this big steel sink that's, you know, robbing everything. So I think it only makes sense. I think we can all agree the time of the steel traps is beyond us. Jenkins incapable of violence. Kristoff uh, hasn't got a weapon. Brilliant. I mean, it is the Tazastical way. Arctic, get on the end. Kristoff, have you got time to get a weapon? To be fair, you probably have. How far away is it? You have to take a breach axe then. Incapable. Okay, we're going to have to fix Kristoff up. <laughs> to be fair, I don't know if they'll actually make it to me. But we'll keep melee people back for the time being. I think the traps have got them all. Oh, no, they are making it through without breaking. Okay, back to business. Uh, potentially some prisoners. No, I looked at your health issues like, I don't think so. Moose. Um, Unless there's someone really, really good. No, I think we're okay. And this marks the end of this kill box. Sad, sad times. And I'll probably plan one off camera. But what I will do is just have them still build the doors back and whatnot, just in case something happens in the meantime. And we need to um, shut the doors and whatnot. I don't want to get caught with our... With our trousers down. Are fireflies there? Not really. Blight on our drugs? Absolutely disgusting. Do you know the worst about this? You have to manually like click on to delete them. There. Saying that, we have got people one on... Oh, everyone's asleep. We should really get them up, I suppose. All right, who's our plant cars? Seedlings. Yeah, there's no sexy way to do this, I'm afraid, party people. I know I make RimWorld look very sexy indeed, but alas, not today. We have to uh, prioritise trying to save our drugs, because this is going to be our money maker. This is going to be our money maker, so it's just like, yeah. Got to do it. So that seedling's done. Then that leads to hands. Because if I leave them, it will just end up spreading. It shouldn't jump to the devil strand. Because I think like two away is enough. But who knows with Rimwell, they could change it just for a laugh, just to torture me. Which could be legit, let's be honest. It will end up spreading by the time we get to it. I should have probably done the edges first, but... I've never been efficient, so why start now? No, let's, let's change that. If 
think I have missed a row. That's not too bad, but at least we can get loads of people on this. Getting it done as quickly as possible. Yep, and we're nearly done. Cool. Get that on speed three, or three of them waking up to cut that. Perfect. Make sure that doesn't spread. It's the best way to deal with them. It's not a bit mid maxi, but the quicker you do that, the more you just save everything, which is a really nice. We can see it has spread it a little bit. So I'll queue them up for cutting. And Jenkins, since you're done first, I will just then queue that up for you to do. So we just clean up them extra blighted plants. And yeah, we lost a big portion of our drugs, which is disappointing, but we could have lost them all. So box good traders coming in. So I don't know if they'll have steel or anything, but it's always worth to check, I suppose. If you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. Now I'll catch you next time. Bye, people. Bye.